So, you got your game on the Android store, but you also want it on the Apple store. Not a problem. Now, I'm gonna assume that you're starting from square one. So, the first thing you gotta do is have an Apple ID. If you have an iPhone, just go ahead and use that. Go to developer.apple.com and enroll. Now, it's $100 a year, and if you stop paying, all the apps you have on the store disappear. So, just keep that in mind. It'll take a week or two for them to process your order, but in the meanwhile, you'll get an email saying that you need to call them in order to confirm who you are. It's a pretty cool phone call. The guy who helped me was super chill. Anyway, now two weeks later, after you've been accepted, the first thing you'll need is a Mac computer. Yeah, that's right. As far as I've seen, you cannot upload to the App Store without a Mac. Once you have a Mac, go to the App Store and install Xcode. And you'll probably have to restart your computer. Now, assuming that you have Unity installed and your game is ready, I recommend creating a new folder just for your iOS upload. Then go to File, Build Settings, switch it to iOS mode. And if you have advertisements, make sure you switch the ID from Android to iOS. Under Player Settings, make sure the company name and the game are correct and the version should probably be 1.0. Build the game into the folder you just made and here you might get an error. If this happens, go to your applications, Unity, Playback Engines, iOS Support, Trampoline, Libraries and find the file called whatever this is. Hold Control and click that file. Get info, unlock the security and change everyone to read and write. If you build the game now it should run just fine. Now from here there's a few things you should prepare before you start uploading and signing up your game. The first thing is to prepare nine screenshots. The first three will need to be 1242 by 2688 pixels. The second three need to be 1242 by 2208 pixels. And the last three need to be 1248 by 2732. And you will also need a privacy policy URL. This is basically a website where you tell the users what you plan to do with their data. The easiest way I know how to do this is just to go to Google Sites, make a new website, name it Privacy Policy, and type in your policy somewhere down here. Publish, publish, view the site, and copy the URL somewhere you'll remember. Alright, the next thing you'll need to do is go to developer.apple.com, certificates, identifiers, and profiles, under certificates, create certificate, Apple distribution, and now you'll have to make an Apple certificate, so click here. Go to file, find, keychain access, then go up and click keychain access. Certificate assistant, and request a certificate. Put in your email, save to disk, continue, save it to the desktop, and on the site, choose it, continue, download, then go to your downloads, double click the certificate, and click add. Then all certificates to go back. Go to identifiers, register an app ID, continue, continue, describe your game. If your game has any online features like a scoreboard or multiplayer, I recommend you turn Wi-Fi on. And to find your bundle ID, go to Unity, File, Build Settings, Players Settings, and under Other Settings, look for Bundle Identifier and type that in here. Continue, register, then go to devices, add, type the name of your device, and find your device's UDID. To do that, go to Apple, About This Mac, System Report, and it's gonna be the provision in UDID here. Continue, register, done, go to Profile, Generate Profile, App Store, continue, add the ID you just created, continue, select the certificate, continue, give it a name, generate, download, and once that's done, in the folder that holds the iOS build, you just got from Unity, there's an Xcode file. Open it and go up here. Preferences, and make sure you add and sign into your Apple ID here. Then go to sign in and capabilities. Make sure you're under all, and make sure your bundle identifier is correct. Import your provision and profile you just downloaded, and you probably have this error here. And I'm not a Mac guy, so I don't know if this was the correct way to solve it, but the way I fixed it was by going into manage certificates, add distribution, add development, automatically manage sign in, and try again. Again, I'm I'm not sure if there's a better way, but that worked for me. Anyway, then go to App Store Connect and go to My Apps. Click the plus, new app, say it's for iOS, give it a name, pick your language, pick your bundle ID, pick any name you want for the SKU, and full access. Create, now you'll need the screenshots. And Apple's real picky on the sizes, so make sure the first three are 1242 by 2688, the second three should be 1242 by 2208, and the next three should be 1248 by 2732. And the two iPads can share screenshots. Okay, you're almost done. Now go back to your window in Xcode and go to the product, archive, Wait a bit, put in your password, allow, distribute app, next, 
upload next 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 put in your password allow upload and done but you're not really done you're gonna wait like 30 minutes on the page with the screenshots and keep reloading the page until you see a plus sign appear here check your game click done and tell them if your game is encrypted if you want people to need to sign in before they play check this box my game doesn't really require it so I'm just gonna leave it off and to find out what else is required save and submit for review and you will see everything left that you still need to fill out now a lot of tutorials just kind of skip this and assume that you'll figure it out but I wasted so much fucking time trying to figure it out myself that I think it's worth showing you the whole thing step by step so scroll down type in the tags that you want people to be able to find your game with if you have a support URL then it goes in right here type in your promotional text write a short description scroll down and under copyright type in the year and your company name down under age rate and click edit and unless you're promoting terrorism violence and drugs just say no to everything make sure you save then go to price and tell Apple how expensive your app is and that's really all you need for this page so save go to the privacy tab get started tell them you don't sell people's data save go up and under privacy policy just link them to that website you made five minutes ago save and now go to app information type in your subtitles go to content rights and tell them no if it's true done and down under general information set the primary category to game or entertainment save and go back to prepare for submission submit for review and you're done Congratulations! You are now an Apple Store developer. You'll get an email from Apple very shortly saying that they got your game, and usually a few hours later you'll get one final email telling you that your game is available and running on the store. I hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.